Hello everyone. My name is Bhavya Dada and welcome back to another episode of Thoughtful Leader Elevate Our College. Today we have Dr. Anish Sia. He is the Registrar of the Indian Institute of Public Health, Gandhi Dada. Sir, we welcome you all for the Dr. Kolkata. Thank you. Sir, now move on to the question and answer time. So my first question is, you have had a Registrar Kolkata at IIT Gandhi Dada. What are the key factors that keep you connected to the Education Center? A very good question. Uh, if you look at my entire career, having done my MBBS and MD in community medicine, uh, I joined World Health Organization and later on moved to United Nations Development Program, UNDP India, uh, where I worked tirelessly for public health uh, uh, challenges, tried to find solutions, addressed them, and had a very uh, exhaustive public health experience for more than a decade working there. During this process also, I was actually connected with some of the medical college and public health institute uh, for academic purposes. So that also motivated me, uh, why not uh, the vast experience that I have to how I can help uh, the budding public health professionals. And in the process, I got an opportunity to work in Indian Institute of Public Health, Gandhi Nagar, which is one of the finest institutions of public health in the country and even acknowledged globally now. So I joined this and um, the vision why I joined was largely to how I can uh, culminate the massive experience that I had with the public health uh, practice into different organizations, how that can be uh, translated into classroom teachings and give our budding public health professionals, our students, uh, a feel of how the uh, theoretical part can be uh, related to the practical challenges of public health and hospital administration. So I was very successful in that, in the sense that I could galvanize our students uh, very well uh, with the emerging and the real challenges of public health. What kept me motivated was more important, like when I see our students working in different organizations, some of them working in organizations uh, and at positions where I left and came to this organization. So this uh, is a uh, real satisfying and mo that motivates me to continue uh, to excel in academic sector. Very important to that So my next question is, how does the curricular work get into a public health campaign and ensure the best practice of the industry? Yeah, uh, this is a very relevant question. Uh, uh, see, uh, we have a very robust mechanism of reviewing our curriculum on a regular basis. I'll briefly explain the process. We take the feedback from the student regarding the content of the course, regarding the quality of teaching. We have a mechanism to get the feedback from the faculty, from the employer, the, where our students work, from the industry and all these feedbacks are collated and presented to the committee of uh, which, uh, which comprises academicians of high repute, including industry representative, which we call it as a board of studies. And regularly it is reviewed and regularly updations are done so that it suits the emerging challenges and emerging requirements of public health and hospital administration. So this is how our courses keep uh, the relevance of our course is very high in terms of the industry requirements that is, that is there in the country and globally. Sir, as you have as you know, worked with WHO, that is called health organization. So my next question is really like you. The education system in India and other foreign business structure is very different. So as per your experience, what can I do how should I take from studying here at as I already mentioned, uh, IIPH Gandhi Nagar is one of the finest institutions of public health and hospital administration. So I'll just briefly mention two, three points why is uh, uh, different or what the uh, uniqueness that we offer to our students is we have a, uh, each student once they get admitted are uh, given allotted us a faculty who acts as a mentor till they are for the entire duration of the course to guide them in terms of technical requirement help them cope up the changing environment so this mentor mentor relationship that bonding is very strong uh, in most of the cases it it, it actually uh, is there for the lifelong even if they 
pass out and they are in different spheres of the job of their life uh, that relationship is maintained second we give them a lot of hands on experience in terms of internship we offer internships dissertations in wide ranging organizations from the government to uh, various organizations like japico who uh, the other international organizations also the experiences there so and importantly this organization is not only an academic but also a, have a very strong portfolio of research and training so that we the students also gets a lot of exposure to the ongoing research projects so which is very very uh, important uh, and is uniqueness uh, is a unique feature of this institute compared to any other institute in the country so the mentor mentor relationship their hands on field experiences their uh this research exposure that we offer with our research strong research portfolio and also a lot of field exposure programs are organized which becomes very relevant for them within the country and also for the international students thank you sir thank you sir so the next question and last question is thank you registrar of the institute of public and community how does it get all the free programs and plan for student placement Well, uh, as a registrar, it's uh, uh, an important that we uh, 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 galvanize and keep all the processes streamlined, strengthen them, and keep on uh, working on that. So the process is very robust that we follow. Our uh, selection process is robust. Our academic academic programs are again uh, industry related and relevant. and we have a very important placement committee which is headed by a senior faculty uh, guided by the director registrar and we have a placement officer dedicated to this there are student representative and we have a lot of mous with some uh, with the in international universities with some uh, organizations and we keep on exploring opportunities it's everybody's responsibility and we have been very very successful in ensuring each and every of our student gets placed in good organization in areas of their own interest and we have been successful in placing over 95% of all our students uh, throughout the years of our academic journey and the salary that is being offered is also uh, very good the best of the industry that is that they are offered our last question i want to add Any message to prospective students of IIT Kanpur? Yeah, I'll take a, a few, a couple of minutes to answer this. Uh, we have our flagship programs, Masters in Public Health and Master in Hospital Administration. I am happy to announce that we have introduced two new courses this year: Master Level two new courses, uh, the Masters in Public Health Nutrition and Masters in Health Economics and Technology Assessment. So. why you should join these courses we have uh, the faqs and uh, we have a team to assist you regarding the prospects of this so i would suggest you connect to us and to name a few why you should as i already have mentioned the, we have a strong academic uh, portfolio uh, the eminent uh, teaching faculty who have been trained in uh, national and international universities so and we have recently been uh, 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 this declared an center of excellence of biomedical research by icmr the apex uh, medical research body of the government of india uh, we do have a center of excellence for nutrition we are coming up with the center for quality improvement in patient safety and healthcare administration so there are many more to mention uh, the uh, centers that we have we do have a center for one health cohort so these all will give you an extra edge uh, in uh, apart from your academic uh, training so these are uh, i would suggest uh, this is the reason why uh, we have been uh, excelling in our academics and uh, make our institution one of the finest globally thank you